Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Lokesh Gandhi. In our today's session, we are going to create vendor compliance in Oracle Fusel WMS Cloud. As we all know that companies rely on their vendors to provide them with goods or services that allow them to run their businesses. Types of vendors include equipment manufacturer, supplier, service provider, or companies that supplier parts and materials. A company could work with dozens or even hundreds of different vendors. So what is the need of the vendor compliance in WMS? So vendor compliance allows you to capture any compliance issues that may occur during receiving. Without vendor compliance, company have few avenues to take if something goes wrong, a late deliveries or a dissatisfactory product, or we can say the damaged product. With the help of vendor compliance, we can help your company avoid my right problem, including the improper purchase order numbers, wrong products sent, product substitution without approval, incorrect labels, improperly packed merchandise, mixed purchase order, and mixed uh, stock keeping unit. And you can say the uh, late deliveries, damaged product, and many more. All these cases will cause issues that will resonate within your entire organization. And in the end, you heard your customer services and in fact, your bottom line. So the vendor compliance play a vital role in our WMS cloud. So let's move on to the application and we'll see how to create the vendor compliance in the WMS cloud. So this is our instance. So we have to navigate to the inbound shipment. So we have to search IP shipment under the search icon. And uh, we have already created the ASN with the shipment number. So we have to select the ASN with the status receiving complete. So this is the receiving complete and we have the shipped quantity and the received quantity, right? So we have the option, you can see over here. So select the record, click on this vendor performance. So we are creating the vendor compliance for this IV shipment. So we have the option create icon, click on this icon. Right. So now fill all the details related to that particular shipment number, which includes the vendor performance code, supplier item code, quantity and unit of measure. Where the vendor performance code, supplier and the quantity are the mandatory field over here. So start from the vendor performance code. So we have the multiple option. We have the late damage, LBL and OVR. So we are creating for the damage. So we have to select the vendor performance code as a damage. Now we can select the supplier by this search icon. So our supply is wed motor INC. So select the supplier and click on this OK icon. Right. We have to select the item code over here by the drop down. Select it. And uh, how much quantity are damaged? We have to define under the quantity field. Suppose out of 800, we are receiving the 800. We have received the 800 quantity. So out of 800 quantity, we have the 10 quantity are damaged. So define 10 quantity and you can define the unit of measure as a unit. And you can also upload the image of damaged product. You can see this is the image you can upload by this icon, right? Now click on this save, right? 
So you can see over here, the vendor performance gets created over here. Now we have the option to edit this details in the door vendor performance. So select the record and click in this editing again. Suppose we have two more uh, damage quantity, so you can edit it, right? And if you want to delete this record, so select this record and click on this delete icon. And if you want to add more vendor compliance, so you can add more by clicking this create icon, right? So go back. So this is how we can create the vendor compliance in our WMS cloud. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.